Last year Sony dissed Battlefield so badly when they said the Battlefield franchise is nothing compared to Call of Duty franchise. These comments were made in response to Microsoft buying Activision and making Call of Duty games exclusive to the Xbox. Sony clearly did not want to get stuck with Battlefield when their arch rival had Call of Duty. For them, the stats didn't lie because Call of Duty outsold Battlefield by five times. Meaning for every Battlefield game sold, five Call of Duty games were sold. So does this mean EA's dream of surpassing Call of Duty will never be fulfilled? Don't forget that the Battlefield actually came before the Call of Duty. It was the first to enter the market, and in the early days, it received better reception than Call of Duty. But Call of Duty mastered consistency. Call of Duty will always dominate Battlefield thanks to one major advantage, its focus on storytelling. Look, Battlefield games have epic large-scale multiplayer, but narratively, those games are hot garbage compared to the gripping stories Call of Duty delivers year after year, and that's why Code will remain king of military FPS. See, Call of Duty never loses sight of how essential a compelling campaign is for sucking players into its world and characters. Iconic protagonists like Soap, Price, and Mason stick with us because the storytelling infuses them with humanity. We become invested in the high-stakes twists and turns of the globe-trotting missions. Drama between allies and enemies keeps us hooked across multiple games spanning generations. There's a richness to the Code D universe that keeps fans engaged beyond just multiplayer mayhem. Meanwhile, Battlefield games completely half-ass campaign modes as distracted afterthoughts. The characters are forgettable. The drama feels forced. There's zero depth or continuity between titles. And now with the latest Battlefield 2042, developer DICE said screw it and ditch story mode entirely to focus only on multiplayer. Big mistake if you ask me. There's no narrative foundation now to get invested in this world or conflict. This is why Cody crushes Battlefield routinely in sales and longevity. People connect more deeply with Cody's characters and stories. There's an emotional core that keeps players coming back. Battlefield's impersonal multiplayer can't compete with that lasting power. At the end of the day, storytelling and well-crafted characters breathe life into any military FPS franchise. Call of Duty never abandoned its commitment to that, while Battlefield let its campaigns waste away into mediocrity. That's why Call of Duty will remain unstoppable. Epic multiplayer needs a compelling story foundation, and Battlefield has nothing that comes even close to the narrative richness of modern warfare or black ops. Checkmate. Another reason Call of Duty keeps dunking on Battlefield is microtransactions. Now both franchises rely on extra purchases for revenue, but EA's outrageous greed with Battlefield puts Cody's model to shame. Don't believe me? Just look at what Patrick Soderlund, EA's former head honcho, said about microtransactions on Quora. He called gamers cheap and freeloaders for complaining. Talk about insulting your own fan base. Meanwhile, Activision actually listens when the COD community pushes back on exploitative microtransactions. But EA and DICE cram every manipulative monetization scheme imaginable into Battlefield without shame. Loot boxes, season passes, battle passes, it never ends. The message is clear. Give us more money. Beyond grossly overpricing skins and cosmetics, Battlefield even started selling gameplay advantages like special guns and microtransactions. That pay-to-win greed shows zero respect for players. But EA fumbled their Battlefield mobile game, canceling it after wasting development costs. Just one example of how Battlefield's leadership is totally reactive versus Call of Duty's calculated moves according to a smart plan. Across the board, Activision makes smart calculated choices that respect what fans want while expanding profits. The success of Modern Warfare proved players crave authentic, grounded war stories, so they delivered with a phenomenal reboot. When Warzone exploded, Activision doubled down on this new Battle Royale cash cow while continuing to push the core series forward. They react strategically to market trends while never losing sight of what makes Cody great. EA, on the other hand, seems to have no vision for Battlefield's future. Dumping story mode for the latest entry was a misguided stab at chasing trends that backfired badly, and they can't commit to a strategic plan for where Battlefield goes next. Call of Duty's stable leadership understands how to evolve this juggernaut franchise while staying true to its roots. Meanwhile, Battlefield flounders aimlessly, playing catch-up while hemorrhaging fan trust and market share. With strategic planning and fan trust on their side, Activision holds all the cards over EA's directionless stumbling. Call of Duty isn't unstoppable just by luck. It's executing a vision Battlefield sorely lacks. I'm not saying Battlefield is completely terrible. Battlefield games are good, especially its multiplayer mode, 
but I don't think they are ever catching Call of Duty unless some changes are made. Remember, Call of Duty is now under Microsoft control, and things will get more chaotic from here. So yeah, this was my attempt on this topic, and I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care and goodbye.